Welcome to the Blue Box PHP tutorial showing you how to create a new web page. So we're going to load uh, just a project that we have already. This current project has many tables in it from the database, but currently doesn't uh, doesn't have any web pages. So we're going to select the website node and right click and select the new page. This opens up the create new page window and along the top we can see there's a number of page templates that we have so we're just going to select one that has a header and content area so the first thing to do is to uh, give your page a name we're going to name this page index as it's going to be our home page. So other things to notice on the create new page window is uh, we have the template name, a brief description, a list of the actual active areas within the uh, within the page. So we have a header. There's also a menu bar div in here that's not shown on the on the preview, and there's a content area. And then there's uh, also a possibility of being user configurations. Uh, these are attributes that we can change once we've actually uh, selected the page and it's been added to our website. So we can change on this one. We can change things like the header image, uh, width of the content, the wrapper, the header height, background colors, container widths, etc. In fact, if we change, if we select uh, uh, a different page initially, uh, just to have a look. So this page has got a header, a left-hand navigation or left-hand column, a main content area, and a footer and we can see these listed here but this has no user defined configurations so we, we actually can't change um, directly through PHP any of the, the sizes of this content so we'll go back and, and select our header where we can actually change some of these features unfortunately what you can't see in this tutorial just to the bottom of the screen here is the OK button so if we select OK we can now see our page is built so as we saw in the uh, in the creation window, our page name is called index. We have a header, we have a menu strip, and we have a content area. If we now to preview this page, if we now select it, we have uh, the rebuild button is highlighted at the bottom of the screen. Rebuild index page, and we'll select that. So you can see the page is blank. We have uh, a pay placeholder for the header, but it's quite easy for us just to drop content into this page now we'll just go to the uh, customers table we'll get the customers data box we'll drop their data box straight into content and if we now rebuild the page there's all our customer information Let's see pages worth of it so that's how easy it is for us to drop content in in fact we can actually drop multiple content tables into this there's no limit if we close that, we'll now drop the orders box into the content page as well. So we've now got orders and customers. In fact, we'll put customers to the top. You can reorder these at any time and rebuild the index page. So we've now got customers and we've got the orders. Concludes the brief tutorial video on creating a new web page.